Now, that was a great buyer story, but I want to talk a little bit about the seller side because, of course, we get questions every single week. Okay, I heard your radio ad or I heard your radio show or I saw you on you know Google reviews or all over the internet guaranteeing to sell homes over the average price and under the average time. Now, Ian, there's a rumor going around. It's a great song, by the way. There's a rumor going around. That, hey, Ian? That, no, there's a rumor going round and round and round. Don't clip that and use it in anything else, Mason. Um, there's a rumor going around that that's what everyone's getting right now. Everyone is selling their home way over the average price and way into the average time. The reality is that is not true. That is not true. Now, there are a lot of people who are selling their home right at the average price really fast. And there's more people than you would think who are selling their home below mm -hmm. the average sales price. They don't know it, though. Yeah. Because agents are doing an absolutely terrible job of valuing houses right now. They're valuing houses based on comparable sales that happened within the last six months. Right. By definition, that would be in the past. In the past right. where prices were lower. 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 Right? Yeah. Now, certainly there are people abusing this privilege on the high side too. They're like, oh, prices are going up. Let's just add 100 and see what happens. Right. And that's foolishness. But- I would say, and I hate to say this because anytime our industry looks bad, we've got to fight to be differentiated from the industry. But as a whole, our industry is doing things the way they've always done it. One size fits all, three comparable prices, comparable price, that's your price, let's go. And it's so dumb, it's so lazy, it's so harmful to the client. But we are still seeing people who are pricing homes that way and then they're getting it or they're barely exceeding it or they're getting just short of it and they're thrilled. That is not over the average price. Correct. And some of them are still taking weeks and weeks and month or two. That is certainly not under the average time. Now, the average price and the average time are calculated based on every individual home. The average for that home, the average for that home in that neighborhood, that home in that neighborhood, that time of year with those features and that price range and all those things. But at this moment, we are averaging for our sellers more than right about 7.2% over the average sales price and a little more than three weeks faster than the average time. In a market like this, that is absurd. Mm -hmm. That is insane. If you have a $500,000 house, how would you like an extra $37,000, $38,000? Literally, it's as if you were walking to your car tonight and you found $37,000 laying on the ground and you told the police and they said, nope, that's your money. You can do whatever you want with it. Take it. Over and above what the market would get you on average, what an average agent would get you. Way more than you would get for yourself, by yourself as a buy owner or on some website or whatever. Certainly to one of these investment companies that's got one of these bait and switch promises about how they'll save you all this time and energy or you don't have to worry about people seeing it and all that. Well, yeah, you're you're going to be giving up a ton of equity. But I saved on commission. I only, I paid way less on commission, so yeah. uh, who yeah. cares cuz I you know, I I win, right? Well, I I'll, I'll answer your question. It's an excellent question. Ian, the, per, the who cares? The person that would care is the person that actually wanted the most money for their house. And I say that because that's, that's the what people that think. People actually are thinking that though. Well, that's and what those companies are promising. Yeah. With their, I mean, look, I disagree and I think they're misleading, but from a for-profit perspective, I, it's hard to blame them. Mm -hmm. It's a compelling message. It's deliberately misleading. There's teams of marketers trying to create a message that sounds like those companies will pay you a fair price, but they don't. They might calculate their offer based on market value, based on a fair price, but they are wholesalers. They are flippers. Yep. That's the business they're in. And again, that business is not criminal. It's not wrong. It's just wrong if they're deliberately misleading you to say, I'm going to pay you what your house is worth. No, they will pay you less than your house is worth and then go try to sell it for what it is worth and profit the gap. Profit the difference. Things can get missed throughout the course of the transaction too. It's why we're really, really proud of all the relationships that we have with different vendors on our team right. all throughout this. Yep. Well, I mean, just I, I'm not going to name anybody by names and bad mouth, but there are massive websites and really big uh, companies, you know, international companies all across the United States funded by venture capital. And they don't care about the community. That doesn't mean they want to destroy the community, but they don't live in the community. They don't care about the community. They don't care about the seller or the buyer. It's an algorithm. It's a spreadsheet. It's a numbers game, 
right? Um, they are flippers. They want to buy low and sell high. Again, I don't blame them for that business model, but I'm upset and frustrated and I feel protective over our community and our friends and our listeners and our clients because they're deliberately being misled with these big services that are going to make you an offer, quote, based on market value or whatever. And their their job is to buy low and sell high. Sometimes they'll make you an offer that's in the ballpark and then their fees are way more than a real estate agent. And their strategy is to beat you up on the inspections and the fees and for closing and stuff like that. So let's move on. Yep. That topic's annoying, but it's a realistic one. And that's why, to your point, who cares? The people that should care are the people that want to be told the truth, represented by a full-time professional that can really advocate for them that they can trust, and the people that truly want the most money in either the shortest amount of time or the timeline that fits their life. And that's important in this market. Sometimes too fast is a bad thing. Yep. We promise to sell homes over the average price and under the average time. Some of our clients are saying, wait, not so fast. Can can we try to sell in a little bit later? And then we can craft a strategy to help you sell at a time that will allow you to buy so you're not homeless. As a matter of fact, we can absolutely protect you from being homeless in this scenario. There are ways that we can create almost a reverse contingency for you where you're not going to have to sell if you're not able to find a home that you love, or at least you're not going to have to move out um, if, you're, um, if you're not ready to sell. 